Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jake from the Legit Gamer 64. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the mod MC Capes. This mod allows you to have a cape on your character along with the skin that you already have. Now, most people, how they have the Minecraft cape on them is from going to Minecon, which gives them an exclusive mod that can't be downloaded. But I found a mod, um, or found a website that supports it, um, that lets you download it, and it'll give you the cape. And the way you do, do this is you go to mccapes.com, and then you want to make an account. So, let's say you have to use your Minecraft username, of course, but um, I wouldn't recommend using the same password um, because it doesn't always work for some reason. So, like, I'm going to log with mine. And then log in. But if you, and to make an account, you just type in your username r right there also, and then it says the rest of the info that you need. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to click on the uh, logo right here. This is Mac only. Um, it's, well, it's pretty much the same thing for PC except for the actual installation part. Then you click download now. It'll have Adfly. And then don't click on any of these ads. That doesn't, those don't work. Then you're going to wait and then skip ad. And then it should download. I'm going to cancel it because I've already done it. But, um, so the way you do it, actually, you know what? I'm going to download it because I just uninstalled it. Okay. So now that I've got that, you want to shrink your uh, browser. And then, now that you have these classes open from the um, file you downloaded, you want to do Finder, New Window. It should should have opened it, but you Finder Window. Then you want to search Library. And it should be the one, this one, with a little building on it. Then go to Application Support, Minecraft, Bin. And now what you want to do is you need to have a program called the Unarchiver. I'll have a link in the description also. Okay, so what you want to do is click on Minecraft.jar um, and click Enter, the button on the keyboard, and just rename this to whatever version Minecraft you have. So I'm on 1.4.2, so Minecraft 1.4.2. And then um, that's what you can do. You can also add original if you want. It doesn't really matter what you name it, but I... Uh, would name it like that so you know that it, that's the original one and then what you want to do once you have the unarchiver you want to right click it open with the unarchiver it should extract and there it is um, and you want to rename this to minecraft dot jar add anyway Okay, now that you now you have the easy part. Now that you have the hard part done, um, just the easy part. Now that you've downloaded it, you just drag classes into Minecraft.jar. Um, it should say you you'll have to replace it, but it doesn't matter. Just click replace, replace. Now you've done that. Okay, so now you've installed the mod, but how do you select your cape? So you go back to the site. You go to cape gallery. Now you can upload your own custom one too. Um, I'll show you after this. Sorry, the site's taking so long. I'll pause it. Okay, so now that you've got to the cape gallery, what you want to do is select a cape. So let's say I wanted here. You got to put out a Minecraft if you're in it. Um, so select a cape. Let's say I wanted the regular Minecon cape. Now I click use this cape and then save option. So let's see if it worked. Open up Minecraft, log in. Single player. And just telling you I have the default texture pack, but it's but the one I have is like a just a more HD version of default. Colors are brighter. Okay, so let's see. So we've loaded the world. Sorry for the lag. Just from me recording. And there you have it, a cape right there. 
Uh, it was installed correctly, but now that we got your cape, you don't need to wear it anymore. But if you want your own custom cape, like let's say you downloaded one from minecraftcapes.net or something. Because there are sites that feature kind of like skin sites, but more for, for capes. And I, there are many sites like that. So, um, so you go back to MC Capes. And then you click on Capes right here. Scroll down, click Capes. And then you click the and then if you have one already, click delete. If you don't, so let me delete this one. And then now that you now that you don't have any cape right now, browse. And then once you've downloaded the cape that you want, so I, let's say I wanted this one with the cake on it that I downloaded. I use this cape a lot. I have this one and this one. Those are my few favorites. Open, upload. Oops, sorry about that. Oh shoot. <laughs> They have it uploaded right here. It says Cape Enabled, but that doesn't mean it's enabled correctly yet. You still have to click Save Option. Now let's try again. Minecraft. Login. Single player. Well, it doesn't matter, but multiplayer also. And if someone else has this mod, you can see their cape also. And if they have the mod, they can see yours. But normally. It's not like the 1.2.5 one where you could see everyone's, no matter what. Okay, now I have it. The cape is right here, the one that I wanted, the cake. And that is the MC Capes mod. Thanks for watching. If you want any more mod reviews, comment below. Um, I'll do more Let's Plays soon. I'm sorry about uh, having less Let's Plays, but I've had a lot of school. Um, just started middle school. It's been a lot of work. Um... Yeah, but I'll do more videos in the future of Double Twenty Six, of course, and uh, I might add my friend Matt to the group, and we'll play some. But uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you like this vid, and I hope you like One Point Four Frank Two. See ya.